I, I definitely did just run out of footage. Okay, I already did this once and my card got full, so this is weird. Hello. What's up? I just got back from Ireland. Me and Alyssa just got back from Ireland and London last night. I got back at, um, got back at five. Lucy, if you don't fucking stop, my brain is all over the place. Come up here then. Stop barking. I feel like my brain's gonna explode and... I just wanted to talk about it, talk about my feelings, talk about my experience. This was my first time ever being out of the country and being out of the country by myself. It was my first time ever being on a plane with someone that wasn't my parent, like doing it alone as an adult. It was a lot of big steps. My brain is feeling very like, I don't know, My I just want to talk about it because it's fun to talk about things. I love Ireland. I love Ireland more than I ever expected to love Ireland. And we went to London for one night, two days. The whole time we were in London, I was kind of just like, I want to be back in Dublin because I love London and London was beautiful and I would love to go back. But my heart like fell in love with Ireland, with Dublin and Kilkenny. And like, I did not expect it to love it as much as I loved it. And that really surprised me, really shocked me. And I got really adjusted and it, it felt like my second home. And right now I'm, I'm suffering with postpartum traveling depression because I got home. I did not want to leave. We didn't want to leave. We stayed 12 days and it wasn't long enough. And I got home last night and as soon as I got home and as soon as in, I was in my house and my my town that I'm from, it felt like a dream. Like Ireland felt fake because I wasn't there and I wasn't in the city and I wasn't looking at it. It felt like it didn't exist. It felt like something that I it felt so separate, but then I also still felt it in my chest and I felt like I left a piece of my heart there and like I still missed it and I, I felt how I felt when I was there and I wanted to be back. So it's a really strange feeling I'm having because I'm so happy to be home and I'm like, I miss my dog. It was like I was sad to leave Ireland and I was happy to be home, but I would have stayed in Ireland. I don't even know why I loved it so much, but I do know a lot of the reason I loved it had to do with the people because this trip was very healing for me. I was really excited to go and just like not be stressed out and not think about all of the things I have to do, like work and make money and be able to afford an apartment. I didn't want to have to think about <sighs> responsibilities basically and I was really excited and I have had a lot of stressful things. I just went through a breakup and the person I broke up with kind of did really shitty things and uh, all of our my friends have moved on from that it was kind of a group effort that like it affected all of us and I've just I've gone through a lot in the past six months that I was excited to go and just kind of get away from that I expected to have this healing thing but what something happened right before I left that um, kind of twisted my sadness to anger <laughs> and I had gone with the intention of healing my sadness and so when my when my sadness kind of just got like switch I just felt like I needed something like there was a thirst in my heart for something that I couldn't get here I think one of the biggest things I learned on this trip was people matter and um, I'm gonna cry <laughs> I don't know why people matter and I had like a lot of anger in my heart and um, when I was there I kind of let that go and I was like there's no point in being angry because I can move on that person can still feel the way that they feel but I'm better off telling them what I what I feel and telling them that I, I wish the best and that I can move on. And I didn't want that anger. And I feel like so much of that toxicness in my life was released in Ireland. I got to be with good people who I love. Like I met my friend Lisa who I've been friends with since Worm, when I posted Worm because she messaged me from it and I finally met her. And we got to be with Shannon. Being with Shannon the whole time honestly made the trip what it was. And we went to Kilkenny which is where Shannon is from, and we stayed with Shannon's family, and we stayed with Shannon's grandmother the majority of the trip in Dublin, and it was just like being with Shannon's family, and being with Shannon, and being with Lisa, and being with Shannon's friends, being with Alyssa, like being with my best friend in the whole world made this trip what it was. And I love Ireland, I do, I, I, Ireland itself holds this place in my heart, it reminds me a lot of home. I realized at the end of the trip that it was like, people are gonna come and go from your life constantly all the time, but people are what matter. And so often I hear, you know, like the trendy thing is to be like, oh, I hate people. Be like, and people do shitty things. There are shitty people. And I just had an encounter with that in my life where someone I loved did something really shitty. Being there, I like released that energy and I just like 
have this feeling restored in my heart of like wanting to exist and wanting to experience life and create moments because moments are all we have just like collections of seconds and and pictures and laughs and i just want to dwell into that and have it and like be in it constantly and be surrounded by people who are good and kind and pure and i felt that the whole time i was there everyone was so good and everyone was so good intentioned and i just felt like i was being fed that constantly and it just gave me this new like sense of human like sense of the worth of life and of people honestly <laughs> it was a trip i'm not ever gonna forget why am i crying i'm such a pussy i cried at a gay bar when the drag queens came out <laughs> i was just like <laughs> there's so much life to live and so many things to see and so many good people wow I love Ireland. I just loved it. It was so good. And if any of you ever get the opportunity, like, I paid for this all myself. I worked my butt off and I paid for it and I know it's not just that easy for everybody. If you ever have the opportunity to make something like this happen for yourself, take it because I came back from Ireland with so many new things under my wing. I came back from this trip with this fire in my heart to not be stressed out and to enjoy my life and enjoy people and be thankful for the people in my life because it was an amazing trip um so that's my video did today thanks ireland shout out 2k18 ireland here we come shannon's hopefully gonna come here this summer which is gonna be really exciting and i hope she likes america there's a lot of mcdonald's and taco bell i ate taco bell last night that's the only thing i missed i just ugh, it was it was so good thank you shannon Shout out to Shannon. Follow her YouTube channel, Shannon. Doheny. Doheny! What the? I guess you're lying! That's not how you pronounce it. It was really fun. If you guys want me to make more videos about Ireland, like maybe do a story time video in Ireland, there's lots of things that happen. But thanks to Shannon's grandma. Shouts out Shannon's grandma. Shouts out uh, Shannon's family for letting us stay with her. I will be back. I will be back. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Shannon, this is for you.